Hello everyone, this is Mark from MrHurricaneTracker.com. Currently watching the Atlantic Sea and the Gulf of Mexico, including the Eastern Pacific. Here's your update for today, August 22nd, 2010. Taking a look at a few couple things here right now. First thing first, we're going to take a look at Tropical Depression number 6, which could be a main concern here for the Atlantic Sea and the Gulf of Mexico. So the Tropical Depression number 6 right now has actually increased in size, and in fact, the National Hurricane Center does state that this storm could become a hurricane and we're going to keep an eye on that because this storm system is advisory number three its maximum sustained winds are 30 knots or 35 miles per hour its minimum central pressure is at 1007 millibars and if you're tracking it with MrHurricaneTracker.com it's at 12.1 north and 33.4 west its movement is west northwest at 8 knots or 9 miles per hour and if, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on that and if you see its track it takes it right here, I'll circle this track, and it takes it right to this area right here on Friday the 27th. Could be possible earlier or later in that time zone. So we're going to keep an eye on that because from right there where it stops, there's going to be a major concern as to where it's going to head after that. And according to the National Hurricane Center, a lot of models take it towards the uh, Bermuda area. So we need to keep an eye on that because the storm system could become a hurricane and depending on where the models take it that's going to be a major concern so I continue to keep you posted on that we do have some other areas in the Gulf of Mexico right now where some showers and storms came off of Florida and actually is headed towards the west and that could be another target for a tropical wave so we we'll continue to keep you posted on what's going to happen with that as well we also have another tropical depression in the eastern Pacific which is actually having some impact on Guatemala and some of the Mexico area. This is tropical depression number 9E and it's advisory number 3A. If you're tracking it with Mr. Hurricane Tracker, it's located at 13.9 north, 94.7 west. Its movement is west at 5 knots or 6 miles per hour. Its minimum central pressure is at 1,005 millibars. Again, it's the maximum sustained winds are 30 knots or 35 miles per hour. We're going to continue to keep it posted because the effects will be felt very harsh in the Mexico area and the Guatemala area. So please stay tuned to Mr. Hurricane Tracker. Once again, the National Hurricane Center does say that this storm system could also become a hurricane, but again, it is too early to tell at this point. So we continue to keep it posted, and I'll show the actual image of the uh, map of where it's going to head. And again, right now, it's saying that about the 23rd of Monday, it'll be in this area. I'll go ahead and circle that. And from at that point, we'll actually tell you exactly where it's going to head to see what's going to happen with that storm. If anything develops before then, we'll definitely break in and keep you posted on what's happening. So please stay tuned to Mr. Hurricane Tracker for the latest updates on what's happening with Tropical Depression 6 and 9E. And we'll keep you posted on a daily basis on what's happening. Thank you very much for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. And have a great day.